You are getting sleepy. Just watch the moving object. You are now becoming entranced. <laughs> hey, Tubies, this is Psychic Bob. Don't worry, I won't hypnotize you. Anyways, I'm sitting here playing with my pendant. <clears throat> I'll show you one of my little treasures. I dug out my jewelry case. Check this out. <clears throat> this is my wonderful little pinnacle pendant. Isn't that beautiful? It's a little silver pendant. Uh, this was actually a gift to me from Lady Angela. And she sells these over at her site at Rare Wicca Spells. I love it because it's a beautiful little pentacle. I just put on a little silver chain. And it's nice and light. You know, some days you don't want to wear heavy stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this is a great little pendant. And I love it. I'm carrying my sacred symbol with me. And I love it. Thank you, Lady Angela. Love you, darling. If you guys want to get one of these, she sells them over her website at rarewickaspells.com. I'll put the link below. Definitely check that out. You guys are the best. I tell you, I've had such a good time with you. I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. I tell you, we had such a wonderful time. We did a What's in My Bag video. If you didn't see that, check it out. It's in the queue right before this one. <clears throat> well, here it is. It's a new week. It's Monday. And... You know, guys, I've taken the last few days off of doing horoscopes. I've just had to slow things down. I've been so overwhelmed with readings. And <clears throat> Psychic Bob has to tell you something. Now, don't, don't kill Psychic Bob. But, you know, when I started Daily Horoscopes, I did not, I don't think I anticipate how much work it's going to be. Um, for those of you who are new here, you may not know, I run my own business. I am a full-time psychic medium. And so when I'm not doing YouTube, I actually have a whole list of clients that I do readings for. Uh, and then I also have media appearances. I'll do radio shows and different things. And then I've got book signings. And, you know, it gets really crazy busy for Psyche Bob. So things are a little, a little crazy for me. So I've come up with a solution to our horoscopes problem. Now, you remember when we first started horoscopes, I did horoscopes once a month at the beginning of the month. Well, I don't want to go back to that because that just keeps everybody waiting too long. And I enjoy astrology. I'd rather do it a little more regularly. But I don't know that I can actually produce two videos a day every day. So I'm going to commit to getting out one video every day, which will be a teaching video. And then once a week, I will put out a horoscopes video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go have to go to weekly horoscopes. It's a, I know it's not as great as daily, but it's much more... Um, regular than monthly so so every Monday we're gonna have a horoscopes video and I'm gonna go through the whole week like so for example uh, the horoscopes we're gonna cover for today are for Monday February 27th to Sunday March 4th so it's gonna be seven day cycle here of horoscopes and so next Monday we'll have another video for the next week okay so anyways um, I know you, that's going to disappoint some of you, but please understand, I will commit to at least one video every day, and then we'll have horoscopes once a week. I hope that works for you guys. It's the best I can do right now, and I hope that uh, you're not going to be too upset with me. But we are going to have our horoscopes today, and you know, this is a wonderful time because we're just also starting a new month there. We're getting ready to go into March, and you know, we're starting off this week. In fact, let's go through some of the, the highlights of this upcoming week. Uh, again, this is for Monday, February 27th to Sunday, March 4th, 2017. Okay. Well, today we start off with our sun. There's our big central sun. It's up here in the sign of Pisces. Pisces is the fish. Is that wonderful? And guess what? Our moon today is also in the sign of Pisces. So we're starting off Monday with a double dose of water energy. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, water energy helps you be in touch with your emotions. Water energy can be cleansing. It can be healing. It can be nurturing. It's a great time to get in touch with how you really feel about things rather than what you think about things. So today, Monday, use this day to feel your way through the day, okay? So it's a wonderful way to start. Now, we are going to have our moon move into Aries tonight around midnight. It's at, uh, exactly, it'll be 11.51 p.m. That's Eastern U.S. time. Um, I'm in Washington, D.C., so that's where I'm basing my time zone off of, Eastern U.S. Uh, 11.51 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Our moon is going to move 
from Pisces over into the sign of Aries. Let me turn that around. There you go. There's Aries, our ram, okay? So that's going to bring in some fire energy. That's going to get things a little stirred up here. Um, now, we also have some other interesting aspects that I want to touch on for the week. Now, these aren't every single planetary aspect. I could do a whole hour just on that. But I'm just hitting some highlights before we go into the individual signs. And if you're new here, listen up because I cover all 12 zodiac signs. And everybody watching this will get a horoscope reading, okay? All right, so Monday, uh, one of our big transits, besides all that water energy, is that Mars today is in opposition to Jupiter. What that means is you've got to be doubly careful around money issues. You may find people are a little sensitive. If you go to you know, discuss a loan with somebody, probably not the best day. Uh, steer clear of banks and transactions. Try to Try to stay out of the financial world as much as you can today. With Mars in opposition to Jupiter, Jupiter brings blessings, but Mars brings up the negative side of that. So it's like money might come to you, but there might be a struggle to get it all resolved. So be careful with that today. As we go further into our week Tuesday, we have an interesting day on Tuesday because our moon is aspecting Venus, and that's a planet that brings beauty, romance, feeling good. So Tuesday's a good love day for all of you. If you're looking for a date, Ask them out on Tuesday, and you're sure to have a date, and you'll look good. If you got to do a presentation this week, Tuesday's great because you will look good. People will receive you well, okay? As we get into midweek on Wednesday, we have interesting transits in that our moon is in opposition to Jupiter. Um, this means that the money issues come up again in a negative light. Um, this is one of those days where you just may not feel right about a financial situation, Trust your inner self. Don't push it. Uh, try it again. Probably I'd say Monday through Wednesday, really. I'd be very careful in the finance area, okay? We also have our sun aspecting Neptune, which is interesting because sun is, the sun is our illuminator. Neptune deals with the inner psychic issues, the hidden things. So it means that which is hidden will come to light. And with that moon in opposition to Jupiter, that means there could come up sudden uh, financial things you weren't expecting. Like so, you know, it's a good day to kind of review your finances to make sure that your bank accounts are all normal. Uh, make sure your accountant's not stealing from you. Ooh, hope not, right? Uh, so, to, you know, Wednesday, definitely pay attention to finances and be ready to discover things you may not have enjoyed, but nonetheless, you'll get through it, okay? It doesn't show anything like devastating, but it does show it could be a little bit of challenging aspect there, okay? And as we get into Thursday, uh, we've got our moon, which is sextile Mercury, and our moon, which is sextile Neptune. Now, this is a really interesting aspect because this deals with communications, particularly spiritual communications. And I would say of all the days this week, Thursday is our most psychic of the days. With that moon sextile Mercury, that opens the doors of communications, and that deals with inner communications, inner feelings, inner awareness. And the moon sextile Neptune, definitely the hidden depths of spirit world. So for all of you budding psychics and mediums, Thursday is your day this week, okay? There you go. Now, Saturday, interesting. Now, you know, Saturday is usually the big date night for people. But I tell you, this upcoming Saturday, uh, our planet Venus goes retrograde. And so this weekend, it may not be the best time for romance. So if you want to get in a date, as I said, looks like Tuesday this week's your best romance day, okay? Saturday and through the weekend, our Venus is in retrograde, which means... You may not feel so confident. You may not feel that you look good. Uh, and you may have struggle in the emotional area, okay? Not to panic, though, okay? Um, just take it light. Now, you know, I'd say really through this weekend, just rest Saturday and Sunday, this upcoming Saturday and Sunday, because uh, on Sunday, we've got a lot of negative aspects. Our moon is square Neptune, which means you'll feel disconnected from your spiritual self. Our moon is square Mercury, meaning communications might be challenged. And our sun is square the moon, meaning your sense of your inner self and your inner illumination may feel challenged today. Uh, so this weekend, I would say Saturday and Sunday, make these rest days, chillax. Don't worry, going into next week, things start to shift again. There'll be a lot more powerful aspects. But anyways, that's just a little overview of what we got going on um, this upcoming week. So let's get down to it here and let's talk about our sign. Okay, so there's our overview of the major transits for this week. And uh, 
We're going to pop over now and spin around our big zodiac wheel and see what's in the stars for you this upcoming week. Again, this is for Monday, February 27th to Sunday, March 4th, 2017. Listen up. If you don't know your zodiac sign, uh, I give the birth date ranges after each sign. And when you hear the sign that has the birth date range following it where your birth date falls, that is your zodiac sign. All right, well, let's spin around our wheel. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, Aries. Aries is March 21st to April 20th. You know, Aries, this week for you, normally you're a go-getter, but all this water energy is slowing you down a little bit this week. This week I would focus Aries on slowing down, do inner work, inner meditation. Not the greatest week for you to accomplish major goals, but your goals should be focused inward this week. In relationships, feel your way through a relationship. It's a great week for Aries to really tune in not only to their emotions, but to their partners as well. So if you're in a relationship this week, spend some quiet time and practice listening to your partner. Listen to everybody around you. Aries, this is a week where you don't want to jump into the fray. You want to stand back and watch everything happen and then form an opinion. And I think really in terms of action, it'll be the next week after this that you'll have a better time. Okay, your key word this week, Aries, is reflect. All right, our next sign is Taurus, April 21st to May 20th. Uh, you know, Taurus, right now you're a little bit like the Aries. This is probably not the strongest action week for you. Uh, Taurus, you're really good at kind of being behind the scenes. And this week I would focus on staying in the background, not necessarily being the front man, the four leader, the forerunner. Today is uh, this week, really, it's all this week, but it starts today, is the time for you to to evaluate. I want you to look at things and think in terms of strategic planning because we have a lot of Neptune influence this week and that's going to allow you to formulate plans for a longer term. So this week is a planning week for you, Taurus, uh, not an action week, okay? Um, also the same thing with relationships. Uh, use that water energy to your advantage. Now, as an earth sign, you're much more in tune with that emotional aspect. So let that be your power Maybe struggle today with the air energy in this upcoming week. So let the water and the earth energy balance out your power and draw from that. You're going to be okay. Your key word this week, Taurus, is anticipate. <laughs> All right. Our next sign is Gemini, and that's May 21st to June 20th. You know, Geminis, this week for you is an excellent week to Take all that inner emotion that's being stirred up and put it into action. Uh, you want to share your ideas. Gemini, this is not a week to stay silent. Some other signs have to stay silent this week, but not Gemini. Your air energy actually is a form of power this week, and it will help you to set things in motion. Particularly today with all that water energy, that air energy stimulates motion and movement. So Gemini, this week, make sure to be seen, make sure to express yourself, share your ideas, share your thoughts. Even if it's a little bit of a crazy week and people are not totally focused, you're planting seeds that will bloom in the coming weeks, okay? Your key word this week, Gemini, is express. <laughs> All right, our next sign is Cancer, and that's June 21st to July 22nd. Uh, cancers, for you right now, teamwork is the key. Uh, cancers, you tend to be a little more in inward looking and sometimes teamwork can be challenging for you because you'd rather do it on your own but this week to get through all the crazy energy that's happening you're going to have to align yourself with others excellent time particularly in the career area to figure out who your friends are get to know them and build a stronger rapport. Cancers will find also this applies into relationships. So if you're a Cancer and you're either just starting in a relationship or looking to start a relationship, think in terms of friendship. Build the friendship and then the love comes after that. So you're going to work with others and try to get a star on your report card this week that says plays well with others and then you'll be successful. Your key word this week, Cancer, is collaborate. All right, our next sign is Leo, and that's July 23rd to August 22nd. You know, Leos, uh, right now you're a little challenged in the financial area, but where you have your power right now this week is in sharing your ideas. So, you know, particularly in the area of finances, as you know, we're having a lot of challenging transits. We're also having some inner work 
challenges for some signs this week. But you're one of these signs who actually has what we call transcendent power. It's like you can rise above it and let your light shine. So don't hold back this week. Really jump into everything with both feet forward. Express your ideas. Very much like Gemini, you want to share the words of wisdom. And this will bring you success. So don't hold back. Jump into everything. This applies to love as well as business for you. Your key word this week, Leo, is win. Go for the win. <laughs> All right. Our next sign is Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd. You know, Virgos, the last few weeks for you have been interesting because you've been doing a lot of stuff. You've been stretching your boundaries. This week is probably a better week for Virgos to step back and kind of retreat from things. Virgos will find that this is a good time to work on inner reflection, on spiritual development. Not so much a great week for outer world activities. Uh, with all of these challenging aspects we got, particularly this upcoming weekend, Virgos would do well to even get out of town and forget everything for a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, having allergies today. <clears throat> so, Virgo, your key word this week is rest. Our next sign is Libra, and that's September 23rd to October 22nd. You know, Libras, right now you want to really look at things in terms of strategy. This is a great time for Libra to work on planning. Uh, Libra, you may find that timing and sense of acting out your plans may come later in the month, but right now is a time to sit and be methodical and be very calculated. If you're a Libra and you've got a Virgo friend, you might want to invite your Virgo friend over because they're great at organizing and they will help you get things in order so that you can see your way to success. Uh, in terms of relationship, Libra, also you want to look at things in terms of who is in your circle, who can you trust, who do you love, and, and stick with them. Loyalty is the key here. You're loyal to others, they're loyal to you. Libras are great friends, so you've got a lot of good people around you. Your key word this week, Libra, is <gasps> calculate. <laughs> All right, our next sign is Scorpion. That's October 23rd to November 22nd. Um, you know, Scorpios, right now, there's a lot of sense of nourishment. There's a lot of water energy this week, and that is actually strengthening you and stimulating you to great expression. Uh, Scorpios will find that if they do inner work this week, if they work on meditation, they work on prayer, they work on getting in touch with inner healing, they're going to have a lot of success in the coming rest of the month. So Scorpio, right now, even though other people around you might say, well, I don't see you doing anything, Know that you're working inward, and that is where your success is. Your key word this week, Scorpio, is savor. Savor each moment and reflect. All right. Our next sign is Sagittarius. That's November 22nd to December 21st. You know, Sagittarius, right now you're seeing the far vision. All this Neptune energy that's coming in this week has you being very visionary. And you want to honor that and know that you can set goals now and really start to see them get going. Um, in terms of relationships for you, this may be a little bit of a challenging week because you may feel like there's things that are blocking your communication. But don't worry about it. Step into your philosopher mode and rise above it and see the whole board. You know, life is like a chessboard, right? So don't get stuck in the moment of what's immediately in front of you. Rise above it and see the whole lay of the board, and then you'll have a clearer strategy. Uh, definitely pull on your philosoph philosophical power and pull on your wisdom this week to get through this week. Your key word this week, Sagittarius, is reach. Reach for the stars. All right, our next sign is Capricorn, and that's December 22nd to January 19th. You know, Capricorns, everybody around you is rushing around acting crazy. There's some weird transits this week with uh, Neptune, the Sun and the Moon, and Mars, and people are going to be a little zany in your world. Uh, when you see something you want to go for, don't rush because haste makes waste in your case. What you want to do is slowly and methodically approach the things that you want to deal with and take your time. The world will <clears throat> wait for you, Capricorn, so you don't have to you don't have to rush, okay? Take your time, be slow. This also applies in relationships. 
Uh, you know, I know some of you have said, well, that one person I like, they got away because I didn't act quick enough. Listen, if you rush even in relationships this week, you're going to have struggle. So take everything slow, no running, walk slowly, walk methodically. Your key word this week, Capricorn, is walk, not run. All right, our next sign is Aquarius, and that's January 20th to February 18th. You know, Aquarius, you are definitely in psychic mode. Uh, you know, as we we're talking about that earlier this week, uh, there'll be a lot of psychic energy around you. Well, that carries through for the whole week for Aquarius. Your air energy this week is really where your power is. So draw from the ethers for everything you need. Uh, people around you may accuse you, Aquarius, of being impractical or time-wasting. Ignore that. This week, it's all about what you're receiving. Remember, the world around you cannot see the beam of light that comes into you from the spirit world. So don't worry that they're not following right now. In time, they will understand your journey. So be true to yourself. Let your channel flow this week and let the spirit world lead you. This is where success is for Aquarius. Your key word this week, Aquarius, is channel. All right, our next sign is Pisces, and that's February 19th, to, excuse me, February 19th to March 20th. Uh, you know, Pisces, despite all the crazy zaniness of the week, you actually are the social butterflies. And you'll find that simply by being present and being cheerful, you accomplish a lot this week. Try to understand, Pisces, that the energy right now is not present for you to push hard on agendas. As we talked about that negative Mars-Jupiter aspect that occurs this week, that means you're going to be challenged. For you Pisces who work like, for example, in sales or, you know, trying to, to um, you know, secure major deals, you may find people resistant this week. The key to getting around the resistance that you may encounter is to be charming. Pisces, you have that natural water energy, and it just makes people feel nourished by you. So if you nourish others this week, in turn, you will be nourished, particularly financially. Your key word this week, Pisces, is socialize. <laughs> all right, well, there we go, guys. We got around our big zodiac well, and there's all 12 zodiac signs. I'm so glad you're here. Listen, let me just remind you, you know, as I always say, it, but it's true. When you're in a challenging time in your life, just pause and look to the stars. The stars and planets above us are always evolving, always revolving. And each day brings a new sunrise. And that means a new day and there's always new hope. So don't give in to despair. Let the stars be your guides and allies on the way, and you will be blessed. And the universe wants to bring you a new day and a new hope. Well, guys, thank you for being here. You are the best. I love you. I send you all my blessings. Listen, keep it here at Spiritual. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Messages from the spirit world. For those of you who are new here, every Tuesday I take letters from people and I do many psychic readings. So uh, if you want to you know, write to me, you can write to me at my website or at my official email, readings at robert-shickman.com or put your questions in the comment box below. You guys are the best. I love you. Keep it here. We'll see you back here tomorrow for messages from spirit world. And in the meantime, look to the stars. Blessed be.